Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today is the day I'm gonna build a 3D printed motorized DSLR camera slider. I want to make this project simple and inexpensive, so obviously we're gonna go with the PVC pipes, no need for fancy steel rods. A piece of wood, it should be as unbendable as possible. Uh, you could also use acrylic or even aluminium if you want to get serious. If you do want to make it motorized, you also need a timing belt, a DC motor, a speed controller, a two-way switch, and lastly a 9-volt battery. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, you need a 3D printer too. As always, you can find links in the description to everything I mentioned. Let's get started. I began designing all the parts using Fusion 360, which is a really good CAD software. My goal was to construct each and every part to be printed without support structures. This just saves a lot of time and plastic when printing. With this in mind, the parts quickly took shape, but don't think that I nailed this on the first try. I tested so many different constructions, resulting in a bunch of failed prints. Unfortunately, I was not able to print all the parts at the same time due to the limited bed size of my printer, which, if you want to print with different colors like I did, is not a problem. And so the printing process could begin. All right, it's been almost three hours. Let's check out the progress. Once this print is uh, completed, I will uh, change the color to orange and um, print the remaining parts. I thought it would be a pretty cool mix. So here we go. And just like that, we're now printing the remaining parts with the orange color. It shouldn't take too long and once it's done, we can start to assemble the slider. Right now you should have the two PVC pipes ready to go. They are 720 millimeters long. They have a diameter of 16 millimeters. We have the 3D printed parts and we're also gonna cut out a base plate for the tripod mount. But as of now we can begin with assembling some of the parts. If you don't want to use too much electronics, you can actually use it as it is right now. Simply pull this end and there you have a super simple camera slider. All right, here is a quick update. I did attach both ends of the uh, belt to the camera mount and the next step is gonna be to make the tripod mount. 
So I want to be able to use this uh, tripod and I want to be able to mount the camera slider right on there. So we're going to use the 3D printed tripod mount and we're going to cut out a piece of wood that's going to go underneath right here and hopefully that will enable us to mount it directly onto the tripod. All right, so let me quickly go through what I did. This is just a stencil. You lay it down like so and mark where the holes should be. I also mounted the tripod adapter. Now the next step is for this whole thing to be attached to the slider. And uh, I know it seems a little sketchy, but I'm actually gonna use the hot glue. It bonds extremely well to the PLA and to the PVC. So you really don't have to worry about the camera falling off. So if you need a little bit more explanation of how I did the connections, here we go right now. So this is the main speed controller unit. I then connected a 9 volt battery adapter to uh, these two. They are labeled DC, positive and negative. And this is where the 9 volt battery will be plugged in. I then connected two additional wires of each uh, positive and negative to the 6 pin switch just like this and then the middle pins of the uh, switch will be connected through the PVC pipe to the motor that's it for the connections what I'm gonna do next is screw down this plastic box and uh, then I'm gonna put all the goody electronic stuff in there to make it look good And that brings this project to an end. Let's see if it works. By adjusting the dial, we can uh, change the speed. And if we flip the switch the other direction, the polarity will be reversed, making the motor spin the other way. And that seems to work just beautifully. Here comes some test footage.
If you enjoyed that video, consider subscribing to my channel. I also launched a Patreon account if you wish to support me. It will also enable me to review products that my audience, you guys, ask for. So please comment below what you would like me to do next and support me through Patreon. Have a nice day. Bye.